So thanks for being here. Thanks for all your love and support, guys. And um, so we're going to get into this real quick. I'm tr I want to do a quick message because I want to try to test myself. I'm trying to push myself to make my readings, at least some of my readings, a little shorter. Um, so they're just easier that way. They're easier to manage that way. And eventually, I think I'm going to do a membership on my channel. Maybe when I get to more subscribers to where I can um, offer extended in the membership. So maybe keep an eye out for that. And okay, so these are the intuition oracles. And we're going to use these to pick a card for each pile. And we're just going to take a look at what is it that you need to know right now. Okay, what do you need to know right now? So pile one what do they need to know right now pile two what do they need to know right now and pile three what do they need to know right now okay so i'm gonna leave this here with y'all there's a little meditation after the intro if you want to take a deep breath focus on which pile you feel like you feel most drawn to well come here <laughs> Um, didn't want to get my hand in it. Timestamps for everything, of course, will be down below, and I will see you at your pop. Hey, Paul one. So if you chose this card right here with the lady and the butterfly, um. There's a bridge behind her, so there may be something to do with bridging the gap or mending a bridge even, transforming, changing things. Maybe when you felt kind of in the cold or left out in the cold or isolated, perhaps. So this card says, number 39, the protector. The affirmation is, I respect people's boundaries and I require the same from them. So this is about you maybe perhaps protecting yourself. Um when it comes to feeling isolated in some kind of way. You know, when it comes to expansion or when it comes to something, the difficulty of something and needing to protect yourself here with that. So what do you need to know, okay? What is it that you actually need to know here? This is the Ask Yourself Oracles or Tarot. What is it that you need to know? What does Paul 1 need to know at this time? You have an 8 of Wands in the reverse, so there's a lack of movement that's here. You have Strength in the reverse, so this Leo energy. What does Paul 1 need to know? You have a 6 of Pentacles in the reverse, so lack of reciprocity that's here. A 9 of Cups in reverse, someone not being satisfied or happy in that. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This can also represent boundaries for me. Two of Swords, so making a decision here to take a step back or making a decision here to put something on hold here or stop something. There's a change. There's a frustration around forward movement and making a decision on that. Making a decision on taking direction with something. Moving and continuing something, right? Continuing to move forward here with something. Tell me about strength in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's a, a, a weak foundation that's here. A weakness around long term. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Page of Swords in the reverse. So there's a miscommunication around the equal give and take or what someone's willing to offer. There's this, this is like a lack of information or someone perhaps that's even overthinking what it is that they're giving to a situation. Tell me about the amount of cups in the reverse and the four of wands in reverse. There's a lack of happiness around a foundation. And needing to make a decision around this to protect yourself or to put some kind of boundaries up here even. Um, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So knowing when to remove yourself from a situation here. What's advice on this moving forward? What do they need to know about this moving forward? 
the sun in reverse, Leo energy. The nine of wands in the reverse. The queen of wands in reverse, giving up on something that doesn't bring you a feeling of happiness that you maybe be un you're unclear about, giving up on something that you feel unclear about, something that's really tested you and tested your worthiness or tested your confidence in yourself. Knight of Wands in the reverse. M you know, moving away from a feeling of unsureness, not knowing about a situation, whether you're happy with the situation or not, because there's a lack of security that's here. Um... The Hermit in reverse, the bottom of the deck, that's Virgo energy with the Tower in reverse, yeah, and the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, there may be something here of an apology or um, um, a lesson that involves chaos and your peace, okay? Maybe a lesson here around chaos and your peace and when to kind of put a pause on something or when to recognize when something's not going in the right direction or working out. The plans that you made are not coming into flourishing here. You can, there's a blockage in being able to expand and, you know, recognizing this, doing some soul searching about that. What advice do you have here? What advice do you have here for this? For Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. What advice do you have here for Paul 1 in this? Trust. Trust your intuition with the situation. What advice do you have? Integrity. Well, there you go. Does the situation align with your morals and your values? In denial. Don't deny yourself of the truth here that you feel. When it comes to needing to protect yourself and the boundaries that you feel like you need to set here. When you feel like something's not bringing in happiness and you don't know if you should move on forward with that because of that. Um, or being just unclear. Accepting kind of it is what it is. You know in a way or everything happens for a reason. And if there's something that has transpired or that happened it could be even a tower moment. Something coming out into the open that could have been some sort of lesson here for you or you're trying to take that information and use it to the best of your ability to understand what you need to do moving forward. There's a level of acceptance with that and trusting the situation as far as your intuition. What well, your intuition is telling you here about this, um, about trusting in this and having integrity here when it comes to your morals and what it is that you will and won't allow um, moving forward. And not denying yourself that truth. Maybe because you feel like the innocence is here. You feel like maybe it's something that could be healed. Or there's children involved. Or there's this, you've known this person here forever. Or you know, something like that. The innocence of it. Don't let that overshadow the responsibility of your own integrity here. Okay? And your intuition. And what it's telling you. Okay, anything that we need to know moving forward here with this? Anything else that they need to know moving forward here with this? For Paul 1? Anything else they need to know moving forward with this? Balance. Juggling too many things at one time. Find time for yourself. So you need to kind of, they're saying to take, take a step back. Be open to change in boundaries. There you go. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. Recognizing when you can and can't trust a situation is really important in this. And if it balance, that really balances with you or not. And accepting when things don't balance. Accepting when you feel that this is pulling on your integrity in some kind of way. And you're needing to put some boundaries up with this. Maybe be open to seeing things, you know, in a different way. You have new opportunity that's here. It may open the door. Accepting this. Maybe this being out of balance. Or that everything happens for a reason. Having the surrender here take over. And trusting that there may be a, a situation that's better for you. Better, better suited for you here. May bring in a new opportunity. Once you start taking, respecting yourself. 
once you start putting up the boundaries that you need and respecting yourself and understanding when you can allow people to come in, can allow things to come in, and when things aren't acceptable for you and your morals, right? Um, understanding the balance with that. So not too much, too many boundaries, not too less boundaries, but understanding the balance long enough to where you can trust yourself in allowing new situations to come in. And this could have been a bigger lesson with this particular person that you're dealing with here. Anything else that I'm missing? Get a different card self-awareness you're now in entering this phase of self-awareness where you're questioning their pattern or you're questioning your routine it's taking place here is there anything else that i need to pull for paul one that i'm missing anything here that i'm missing i feel like y'all just need a pep talk you know, when it comes to this, I feel like you just need someone to tell you that this is the right thing to do, even though you feel like it's the right thing to do. Flames of desire. So your desires are maybe something that you're testing you here. Let them shine out in a radiant light and stun dark paths. Shun dark, dark paths. So the paths that you're worried about taking the unknown, it's like, Really understanding what it is that you truly desire out of the situation or what you truly desire for yourself. Let's just say that. What is it that you truly desire for yourself? And if this aligns with that, what you truly desire or not, taking control of that in, a, in enough way to where you step into more of your masculine energy and shine light on the paths that are unknown and move towards what you do know. New, in what you do know is that you, this is something that doesn't align perhaps with your morals in some way and you need to step into your power here when it comes to that so that you can open the door here for new opportunities because otherwise you're just denying yourself the reality of, of what's in front of you. Okay, I feel like I kind of repeated myself. It doesn't mean you can't stay connected to someone here, but it is respecting yourself at the same time, right? Protecting yourself here. Okay. If someone else has also put boundaries up with you, this is about respecting their boundaries. And if their boundaries and your boundaries don't align, recognizing that and moving, you know, moving on from that. Okay. Let's get some initials to close. So that was quick. I hope that helps guys. Okay, a couple of things. We have Scorpio and Cancer energy in the bowl. We have the Scorpion and the Crab. So these are both things that can sting, right? Things that can peach, hurt you. Something that happens suddenly or something that is kind of just eats at you in some kind of way, bothers you. The Crab here is about home. It's about your security. So there's something here. I always see... Yeah, you know, we get a lot of scorpions here in Texas, and there's a lot of them. You'll find them in your home. You know, can't do anything about them. <laughs> you just, you can, you, but you're always going to end up at least finding one during the hot summer, right? Because um, they're trying to find the colder places. They hide under rocks to stay cool. Um, and, ugh, that's giving me the creeps thinking about it. <laughs> but... It could be that your home, something to do with your peace or your 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 sense of security and safety and something that you feel like you have to look out for that could sting at you at any moment, you know, and that that feeling is that un, unsettled feeling is there. It's a red flag. It's kind of telling you, you know, to look at this closer, take a closer look here. You have a home here as well. So there you go again and coming out of your shell. So protecting yourself here, guys, is really important. Not denying yourself. You know, not denying yourself of what, what makes you feel like home. What gives you a sense of security here. Use, use the experiences that you've had to do what's best for yourself in this. You have two U's in the bowl, so. And you have a M or a W and an E. Okay? You are your own muse, right? Your past, your healing, your situations you've been in, what you've experienced, what you've learned. You are your own muse when it comes to who you are today and the decisions that you make now moving forward in order to protect yourself. 
Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up so y'all can see it and I'm gonna leave it here. So thanks so much guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you wouldn't mind, if you did enjoy this reading and you feel like you can connect with my readings, um, hit the subscribe button for me, please. I would be much appreciated to it. And um, also hit the like button if you feel like this resonates with you. And thanks so much guys for being here and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey, Paul 2. So, Paul 2, if y'all chose this card here, you have these two swans in the background here. So, soulmate energies there. You do have the heart above the head. So, maybe it's making a head over heart decision. Um, there could be some cycles here that you've experienced with someone. Maybe some wisdom that you've gained here or knowledge within this relationship. Y'all have the transformer here, number 20. This is about making a judgment call to transform something. It says the affirmation is, I transform myself as a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. So you may be going through the, what is it called? The chrysalis, chrysalis right now um, of a caterpillar. Um, when it comes to right before it transforms, it has to go within. It has to kind of go into that hermit energy analyzing kind of energy in order to understand what they need to do or what they have to do to transform. Um, but making that judgment call here to have a new beginning or change things is, is something that's here. This is what you need to hear, what you need to understand. Okay. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, good grief. Oh my gosh. These decks, guys. <laughs> Sometimes that you get these decks. I like this deck, but it's like really hard cardstock. And sometimes it makes it hard to shuffle. It's like real stiff. Okay. There's something hard to understand or just shuffling around, shuffling around an idea or something that's kind of hard. Something to do with something being difficult. Maybe somebody being hard-headed. <laughs> something maybe not going your way. Tell me more. What does Pile 2 need to hear at this time? What does Pile 2 need to hear at this time? You have the Ace of Swords. So there's this truth that's sitting here. Clarity, truth. You have a King of Swords in reverse. So you don't know how to... You don't know how to transform something or you don't know how to speak your truth or what the truth is. The moon in reverse. Seeing past your fears here or illusions that are taking place. That's Cancer Pisces energy and the Five of Cups. There being a disappointment or a sadness or not wanting to have regrets here. Tell me about the, what the information that you're holding. Why is this Ace of Swords here? The Ten of Swords. This is transformation for sure. I mean, there's some kind of information I feel like that you're holding on to when it comes to an ending or a betrayal or having improvements or a change that could take place, you know, moving moving into a, a, a position before there's some kind of ending that takes place. There's communication that's coming around this or this is just the way that you're thinking. You're thinking about the ending thinking about ending something but you don't know how king of swords in the reverse the eight of pentacles in the reverse you've been trying to figure this out you've been kind of taking a step or taking a isolating or taking a step back to try to figure out how or what it is that you want to work on or what how you want to move forward the moon in reverse the world in reverse. This is a nothing, something that you don't want, that you're, it's incomplete. There's something here that's incomplete. Not wanting something to end here is something that's coming out into the open. So you're, you may be facing a fear because you don't want something to end. Or facing a fear around something ending. 
This could be a lack of closure that's here even, looking for that. Five of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This could be an unfortunate, unfortunate event in some way that has created some regret, like you regret something. Like, I regret this happening in the way that it has. What do you need to hear? Tell me more about the Ace of Swords with that Ten of Swords in the reverse. Death in the reverse. There's something here, the truth about what you've been holding on to. The truth about why you've been holding on to an ending or why you've been holding on to something. Um... Repeating a, a pattern here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Justice in the reverse. You've been holding off here because you know that something is unfair. And being dishonest about this is something that's unfair. You know it's unfair and you've been holding off. You've been taking a pause to think about how to move forward clearly or how to see things clearly or what to do with the situation because you know that this situation is unfair. You know it, you can't keep repeating the same cycle that's here. Tell me about the moon and the world in reverse. The queen of cups in reverse. There's someone here that, um, cancer energy, Libra's here as well in Scorpio. There's someone here that you feel like is holding back emotionally or is guarded with you in some way. There could be someone here that you still have feelings for that the, there's a lack of closure with or... Oh, there's an incompleteness around this. Um, or this is just, you don't want some this to end, you know, in some kind of way. Um, and getting getting over your fear. Because you, the, uh, having regrets over something ending, I feel. Okay, thank you. Just threw this card at me. The Knight of Pentacles. This is about moving forward here slowly, being determined to find some kind of peaceful closure here. Moving slowly. What is the what is the wheel of fortune that's here in reverse? Two of Wands. You may regret making some kind of decision. Or you have to decide to leave, leave something out in the cold. And you've been resisting this change. What can you tell me about this? What advice do you have about this? What advice do you have about this with death? Queen of Wands in the reverse. I'm also feeling hot flashes like crazy in your reading. I don't know what in the actual heck is going on. Um... Let me see if my, turn my heater off there, it might help. I just got real, I'm just getting hot flashes like crazy. Um, like I feel almost sick to my stomach in some kind of way. There's something here that you feel like you're just kind of stuck repeating a pattern here. You don't feel confident about this or... You lack direction. There could be some insecurities here. Somebody that's temperamental. You're holding on to something here possibly because there's the truth here. Is, is There's somebody here that might be upset, it, upset or it, that's temperamental with that in some kind of way. You may also, you don't want something to end with this person. Or you're afraid to see to see a certain side with that person. Tell me more about that Queen of Wands in the reverse. Or the Sun in reverse. You're afraid to disappoint somebody here. This has to do with if you repeat a cycle, the truth about you repeating a cycle here, you may disappoint someone that you just don't want to disappoint this person. You you want there to be improvements with this, but I think you're holding on to some kind of unjust truth. And you're trying to take a step back to figure out how you're going to ex express this. And it has to do with the lack of ending or closure around your emotions or around someone or with someone coming out into the open. But being determined to do things, I feel like maybe in the right way moving forward. 
you know, being at a crossroads here, feeling disappointed, maybe in the the way you handled a situation or regretting like an unfortunate event that occurred, making a decision here. What advice do you have for them moving forward? What's the advice here on this? The eight of wands in reverse. Well, slow down, I would say. Um, there's a waiting period that's here. It's just wait. There's a frustration that's here. You have an empress in the reverse. There's a lack of being able to grow. There's a delay in growing something, a delay in expansion that's here. Could be even there's some kind of domestic thing that's going on. Um, there could be some financial issues that are here. There could be someone that's dependent on you. This is like you need to either cut this off or stop this. This is like there's something here that's moving into a, co a codependent, codependent kind of relationship that needs to end. It needs to stop. I think you're aware of this, though. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Hmm. I mean, that can be a card of rejection. But there's a lack of direction in how to address this, perhaps. Um, delaying this. It's like you've been delaying this. New beginning. Expansion or growth. Okay. Well, with the Five of Wands, it came out, but the Ace of Pentacles came out, too. This is a lost opportunity here, or, or turning something down. It's been conflicting. You've been confused. Not knowing if you should have maybe a restart here. Tell me about this Empress energy. Uh, Libra and Taurus there. Tell me about this Empress energy. The hanged man. You've been trying to see a different someone's point of view, or you've been trying to see something in a diff different way, or you've now been shown someone in a different way, and that's hard to unsee. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There's a lot of queens out. Um, There could be somebody here that is with that queen. Okay, hold on. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here that may be letting go of this. Maybe no longer emotionally attached to a new beginning or a desire for that. This is someone that's kind of letting go of wanting a new beginning or feeling like something is aligned or fits with them in some way. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? Judgment in reverse. Yeah. There's an, a lack, there's a delay in making a judgment call. I was asking for advice and I feel like if the Eight of Wands comes out in reverse for advice, then there's some sort of resisting of something changing, progressing, moving forward. There's a lack of making a judgment call here. We said that with number 20 here in the beginning, transformation, right? There's a lack of, of making a judgment call because you're, you're trying to see someone or something in a different point of view or way. And it's creating a... Um, a rejection. It's creating a blockage. It's creating a lost opportunity here. And there's someone here that's kind of walking away from this. Feeling like this could be you. You know, you could be feeling like something's not happening here and you're you're slowly kind of starting to not care as much. Where it's, you were emotionally attached to a situation, maybe you're not as emotionally attached as you were. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with here. And losing an opportunity or looking at this as a lost opportunity and, and saying that you're on different pages here and moving forward. You have the hermit in reverse. So getting out of that hermit energy like we talked about and the lovers and making a choice here to get out of isolation and the lack of being able to see things clearly. When it comes to long term or when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, stability. Feeling like there's a lack of stability within a connection. 
and getting past analyzing that and moving on, you know, psychoanalysis paralysis is what you've been in. And they're saying that you got to shake yourself up out of that um, because you're losing an opportunity here. For some of you, you may not even know about this opportunity, but it's, it's here. Okay. Some of you do, but. What advice do they have here for you? Let me get a different deck. Let's use this one. What advice do you have here for Paul 2 with this? What advice do you have here for Paul 2 with this? This is all about not repeating that cycle. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. That regret is on the table with the Wheel of Fortune. There's something that happened here that you could regret. Someone regrets. Obstacles. You regret placing some obstacles or regret there being unhealed wounds or... This is the outside interference here that's creating a block here. And yeah, look at that. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. That's the obstacle. And this could be something you regret or this person regrets. And your intuition here is telling you to table, take a leap of faith. Um, it's safe to make the move that you're considering. You already know the answers that you seek. Okay, so I don't know where you sit in this scenario, but there's this listening to your intuition about taking a leap and whichever that is, you know, not wanting to have regrets here. And especially when it comes to outside interference or the obstacle being, you know, an external party here intruding on this connection and denial. Don't deny yourself happiness. Detach with love to clearly see the truth or maybe de detaching from the situation altogether so you can see what it is that you need to do. I'm actually going to pull a empowering question for y'all. I think it may be helpful. Can I have an empowering question here for Paul 2 moving forward? Okay, you will have three. What are the things that make me feel good while I'm doing them? So what is it that make you feel good when you're doing them? Okay, what is it that those things, go back to those things because that's going to tell you what you want or what you need for yourself if you're confused about that. What gives me great joy? So there's another one. This is about focusing on your happiness. Am I doing more of the things that I keep that keep me alive or am I doing more of the things that make me feel alive? What makes me feel alive? That's a really good one. Okay. So those are questions you should be asking yourself about this situation, okay? I think y'all may be losing an opportunity due to some kind of outside interference. And they're saying, you know, you don't want to have regrets here. You're too, you're too into analysis paralysis. You need to take a step back, take, take a step away from it. Maybe do something that makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy or you're not thinking about this so that you can kind of clear your mind, clean slate, and then reevaluate. Okay. You may see it differently. You have the, the cancer energy here, so that's an energy of feeling safe and home and protecting yourself. Um, you have the Rhode Island pin, 50-50, 97, and the rooster here, two sailboats. Um, so this may have to do with something being 50-50, you know. Um, you have an H. You have an X. So being at a crossroads. You do have the two of pentacles, so being at a crossroads here and how you move forward. You have an S, a T, hold on now, an N, an R, an O, and a C. Okay, so we have little words, ton here. We have sun here, S-O-N. Um, we have Thor here, <laughs> Thorn. So just saying, maybe you're a fan. I don't know. <laughs> um, corn is here as well <laughs> and torn and horn. So there you go. Maybe you're torn between, uh, crossroads. Being 50-50 here and also protecting yourself and someone. 
feel like you're in a hard position, but I hope this helps. Um, good luck to you guys with this uh, moving forward. And thanks for being here. Thanks for your love and support. If you resonate with my readings, would you please hit the subscribe button so you can see all my new readings that I post. And also um, hit that like button if you don't mind if you felt like this resonated with you. Thanks again, guys. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey, pal three. So if you chose the... So <coughs> I would say, excuse me. One second. I'm getting choked up all of a sudden. Okay. That was weird. Um, <clears throat> goodness. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. Let me get a drink of water. So you have the two angels that are sitting there. It reminds me of a conversation right between two people. And there's someone here in this conversation that is like looking off over here in the distance. Like, did, did, did he just really say that to me? It's got kind of feeling that's there. And then you have this other one here that's kind of looking at begging. You know, it's praying. It's got its hands like this. So there could be this conversation here um, between you and someone else. Someone that maybe you, you've known for a long period of time. Something like that. Where it's putting this person in their head quite a bit. Something that could be divinely guided here. Meant to happen. And you have the communicator here, number 15. 15 is the devil in tarot. So Capricorn energy is here. So there's something here that you're communicating or this person's wanting to communicate here to you or someone that's here wants to communicate. There's a conversation that's here, okay? And it says, I remember that my words can have multiple meanings. There's something here that was said that's given someone a uh, food for thought, okay? They're thinking about what was said. And it could be that someone's wanting you to forgive them in some kind of way. And you're trying to understand this person. But I feel like there's some obsessiveness going on here or a lack of understanding that's going on here. And there could be something to do with something that's toxic. Could be what there's this forgiveness energy here with. Okay. So let's get the awaken or ask yourself. That's what that is. Ask yourself, Tarot. <clears throat> what do you need to know about this, Pile 3? Maybe you're trying to figure out what someone said. Like you're trying to figure out or understand what they, if they mean what they say or if they said something that doesn't make sense to you. Like there's multiple meanings behind the words that they said, or at least you're, you can you can find that, and you're like obsessing about that in some way. It's almost became toxic, right? You're trying to maybe figure out if this person's toxic or if they're deceiving you with their communication in some way. What do you need to know right now, Pal Three? The Three of Wands. Well, maybe whether or not you should wait. Um, whether you can expand or grow here. If you should wait for this, this is worth waiting for. Six of Wands. If this is going to be successful, if you're going to get the recognition here that you're looking for, the Knight of Cups. If you're going to get that romantic offer, if something's going to move forward, and Justice. So if, if you're wanting to know if you're going to get justice here in this. Three of Wands in the reverse. It's not in the reverse, but here's the Four of Pentacles, and it is. Um, this is whether or not you're wasting your time or should you release something here. Communication around that. Six of Wands. Somebody, you still, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Something here coming out into the open. The truth. Being honest. Giving, giving someone recognition here. Give me one more for the Seven of Swords. The King of Swords. Communicating communicating the truth here about recognizing someone or something for what it is giving someone praise even perhaps for some of you so someone that could be wanting you want you want someone to believe you are you you feel like somebody wants you to believe them knight of cups 
trying to see the situation clearly and see past any kind of deception. Knight of Cups. Okay, well, it's the Five of Swords and it's started to come out in reverse. It kind of swung its way upright. So there's this conflict, internal maybe conflict here or betrayal around a love offer or feelings being conflicted about your feelings, about offering someone something, about how to take someone. I don't think you know how to read someone. I think you're confused about this person and their communication. And if you're wasting your time here, if this is going to be something that's successful, you're trying to see this person for what it is. You're trying to give this person like the benefit of a doubt here, but you're really conflict conflicted about how you feel. And, and what this is to you. Tell me about justice here. The Queen of Swords. Look at that. There's the conversation. King and Queen of Swords. In order to bring balance in. Yeah. There's confusion around feelings that are here. And there's this need to bring in balance. And in order to do that, you have to have a conversation about fairness. And whether or not you should move on from something. If you're wasting your time in a situation. The truth coming out into the open here. Tell me more about what that is. The truth. What's the King of Swords here bringing? Page of Swords. So someone that's wanting to communicate what they, their understanding of things. To someone here that wants to communicate their understanding, their situation, thinking of things logically. They're going to communicate something to you here, give you some kind of truth. High Priestess, my gosh, guys. I'm digging and digging, and this just keeps giving me these cards of deception, like, or something being hidden. Something that you've already heard this person say, or they feel that way. They feel like they've already communicated something to you, or something has transpired I think that they feel like you may not trust them. They're trying to gain, get your trust back here. This is someone that's trying to understand. What is the, what is the Six of Wands? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that may be wanting you to wait for them, wait on them. They want you to trust them in the situation so that you'll wait for them. Oh my gosh, that's what it is. Tell me about what the Five of Swords is, please, with that Knight of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. They're conflicted here about the long-term view or waiting or having patience here. They're conflicted about the future of something, okay? This may be confusing to you. This may be what's confusing to you. This person may be confusing you because they're bringing forward the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, which is both like a romantic kind of gesture here when it comes to future energies or waiting for that or something like that. But then there's confusion around it. So what is that Five of, of Swords? What's the, it could be a betrayal, judgment. There's a confusion around believing this when it comes to this person. Being confused about future energies and how someone is feeling is like a, a, a red, red flag. Is this worth your time and attention? If you're confused about how someone feels and what they want with you, is it worth your time and attention? Okay. Scorpio energy here with Judgment and Pisces there with High Priestess. There's some kind of secret here. This person I feel like is going to... There's something here they want to communicate to you. What is this High Priestess energy in reverse? What they've been thinking. Nine of Cups in reverse. Their understanding here is that you're not happy. Through communication, they feel as if there's something here that was expressed where they feel as if you're not happy with them. And I think that they're trying to get that energy back 
trying to get back in your kind of good graces so that you may perhaps may wait on them or you yeah and then you have this libra energy over here heavy tell me about the queen of swords yeah the two of pentacles what's fair here looking at your options here and acknowledging what you feel like is balanced and fair what is the decision that your life are you ready to make so trying to make a decision off of what is fair having a conversation about that making a decision off of something that is fair and the three of swords you have five here so this is the change there's a change here and it has to do with the three of swords maybe somebody's juggling you there's outside interference third party energy there's some kind of separation or pain that's caused and a decision that needs to be made around this or options around this or this is being out of balance needing to balance out this because it's causing there's something here that is causing pain third party energy somebody juggling you there's something here that's causing hurt and pain and your call here is to want fairness you want to have a conversation here about that or you have um I don't feel like that. Where are you now with this? Call three. The world in reverse. You don't want this to end or you feel like there's a lack of closure that's here. Temperance. But you want peace. You're trying to find a peaceful resolution here. Sagittarius energy. You want to find a peaceful res resolution here. You're giving this some patience because you don't want this to end. But it's really testing you, I feel like. Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's testing your worth. It's testing your value in yourself. It is making you really pull on that energy, like your own strength and how you recognize and see yourself and your value. And... Um, of course, I think there's a lesson behind that. Queen of Cups, taking care of yourself, doing what's best for yourself here in this situation. Six of Pentacles, when it comes to equal give and take, reciprocity, reciprocity. If there's balance here, if someone is giving to you as much as you're giving to them, finding peace with that and balance in that. The world in reverse. The Four of Swords. You're reevaluating this. You're reevaluating this, ending this, or a conclusion here, or closure in this. You're reevaluating this. And you have this conclusion here, I feel like, that you've made that you're focused on your peace and what is equal or balanced with you and taking care of yourself and the value that you see in yourself moving forward. The magician what is the nine of cups in the reverse there may be some kind of indulging something that's going on here the seven of wands this person doesn't like that you put boundaries up with them they're not happy with whatever boundaries that you're placing or the way that you're seeing them because they don't know what's going on with you or they can't read you and how you're feeling about them. And they don't like being in this place. So they're not, mo they're not moving anywhere. Seven of Wands. Why'd you do that? Eight of Wands. Something happened suddenly. That caused you to, 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 to put your guard up. What is the Eight of Wands? There's some kind of quick communication or something like that. The Eight of Cups it has to do with walking away or someone walking away from something emotionally or there being an emotional attachment to something and, and needing to walk away. There's some kind of communication that came in about this that you felt like you needed to place some boundaries with or, or protect yourself in some way. This was somewhat challenging here. It caused you to be unhappy about the situation
communication about that. Okay. I landed on the Knight of Wands. So that's taking action, moving towards something, right? Being inspired to move in a certain direction. So let's see what advice we have here with this. What is it that, what's the advice here? For, actually, let's use these first. What's the advice here when it comes to pile three? What's the advice that you have for them when it comes to pile three moving forward? The Eight of Cups has just landed on it and moved it out of the way. And you have retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. And that is the Eight of Cups energy. It says, what situation in your life do you need to walk away from and emotionally disconnect? So this is a feeling of, and, you, and this person feels that. They feel like you're quickly kind of moving away from them, starting to put up some boundaries with them. And they're, that they're not happy about that, the way that that feels. They're not happy about you kind of moving away from them, disconnecting emotionally. They feel that, that you are. Um, and there's this, you know, advice about retreating to maybe spend some time in nature, spend some time recharging or time alone even um, to think about things. You have twin flame. So this has to do with the connection. You may feel like this is a counterpart or someone that you felt like was part of your future, you know. Whoa, just hit me in the face. Um, balance is here. So one person right on top of that six of pentacles is giving more in the connection than the other. And it's causing things to be out of balance here and needing to retreat to figure out, you know, what it is that you want. We have unavailable. This person is able to give you what you deserve. So they're, that's it. You're, that you're recognizing that there's someone here that's not offering what it is that you feel like you deserve or you want and that could be emotions here with this queen of cups cancer energy um, sagittarius energies there and then you also have your intuition and acceptance you already know the answer that you seek everything happens for a reason if something has happened here down here that caused you to be disappointed or sad or something like that hold on i want to pull a card for that i feel then there's something that was nudging your intuition that aligned and you still didn't kind of see it or recognize it. That's something that happened there for a reason and they're asking you to look at it. Because your intuition actually picked up on something that you're not accepting. What is it? What is that? Oh. <sighs> wow. Um... So player who's here in finances. So this may be somebody that you feel like is surface level or that they're not going any deeper than that. Or you may feel like this is someone that can be somewhat of a charmer. Someone that can be kind of manipulative here um, in order to be successful. This is something that you saw. Something that was maybe material wise that you saw. Look at this intuition again. You had a gut feeling about this person or about this. They're asking you to accept the gut feeling, the trigger that you're feeling, and whatever transpired to make you believe that. Um, accept it. Everything happens for a reason, right? And retreat so that you can spend some time alone to recharge and figure out what it is that, that you're balanced with. How's that going to affect this person moving forward? This isn't supposed to be in this deck. <laughs> um, it's the... There's another one in there. This is uh, old bad habits. How will it affect this person? They may retreat back to some old habits here. Um, they have the past is overriding your new good intentions. Love something greater than the habit. So it, they may be tested here into reverting to bad habits. Um, because of this, if, you pull your, if you're pulling your energy away from this person, I wouldn't say do, it, do that in a manipulative way. Make sure if you're ever pulling your energy from someone, it's not coming across as egotistic. Like, huh, well, if they're not going to give me what I want, I'll just go find it somewhere else. <laughs> Don't be like that because that's actually a negative energy that you're putting out there. Make sure that if you're doing this, you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it because you know this does not balance with you. And you know this is something that's only going to hurt you. Three of Swords. What painful aspect of your life do you need to confront 
So if this is a situation that's causing pain, especially if this person's juggling you here, and this is a situation that's causing pain, do it knowing that, that this is not something that you want to be available for because this person's not giving you what it is that you deserve. Don't dismiss the red flags when it comes to this. Even if you feel like that this is a soulmate here, know that you even need to put boundaries up with soulmates. Even when it comes to supporting someone or you feel like this is an opportunity for new love, you have to still be able to recognize when you need to put up these boundaries here um, and recognize when the red flags are being shown here to you. You know? Just saying. I mean... Especially if there's something to do with finances that has been a red flag for you in some kind of way. Um, or work or someone just wanting to be successful. Like, I just feel such a surface level energy here that may have been a red flag for you as well. Maybe this person was just not wanting to go any deeper than so far, right? And that's something that you want. And if they, you know, somebody that can't provide you with the emotional emotions that you're looking for you were wanting to move in that direction, then, well, how is this person going to react to this? Reconciliation. They could whew, take a deep breath. This person could actually go back to someone else or go back to someone, an old habit, repeating an old cycle. Or this could be this person. I think this is going to be a test for this person, to be honest with you. I think this is going to test this person. If they were doing something here for someone else's benefit, or they were getting motivated by someone else, or if they were motivating themselves, is fixing to be tested. So if you detach from this person and they go right back to their old ways or go right back to a situation, um then that kind of tells you, you know, that this person may have been putting on some kind of impression, but weren't really living out, living up to that. You know, they were just using you as some kind of muse or something like that. Um, so I do feel like this will be a test in this person. And I landed on date. So this could be somebody that you're dating. I want to see one more, guys. You had the longest reading so far. How this person react to this? You pull your energy away. Use your head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let your emotions control you. Spiritual death. This is a dark night of the soul. I think this person is may have a huge lessons lesson on their emotions and and how they try to control their emotional self and how that, that kind of pushes them into the dark night of the soul. There's a lesson they need to learn. The Grim Reaper, breakup, divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something or someone off. This is somebody that's learning a lesson here about this. About using their head and when to know like when things serve you and when they don't. You know, let's, what do I want to get for y'all? I'm actually going to get the Alice in Wonderland oracles. What kind of called to that? What's this say? Awakening Genius, number 29. It's a pretty card. So waking up to your mindset, you know, use that. Use your mind here, they're saying. Use your head. What advice do you have for call three moving forward? One card. All in a golden afternoon, number one. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and concept. I think this is telling you, you actually have a manifestation power. If you, right now, like, your energy's high vibrational as far as being able to create something here new for yourself. Um, and I'm, I'm not talking about love here, perhaps for some of you, but mostly I think this has to do with your, what, whatever it is that you're, you're into at this time, whatever it is that you're trying to create at this time, or something that you would like to be into or create. 
fear and fear around that not working out, fear around that not being what you want it to or wasting your time in that situation. You're in an energy right now where you can actually manifest what it is that you want and face the fear of that. There's some determination that I think is going to follow this, that you can use that determination, that energy to thrive, to help you to thrive. Um, yeah, and self-awareness is here. So tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns, kind of creating a new uh, routine or pattern for yourself. I think this is going to benefit you in the long run if you use it to do that. There are things and situations that happen in our life that after, you know, the fact, after the tower, after the thing, after the three of swords, we see that and we're like, can, can I use this in, for my benefit? You know, can I get, use this to make me feel determined and to become more self-aware, to face my fears, to move towards what um, I feel like is important, that will provide me, that will give to me, that will help me to feel in balance with things, you know? Um, and yeah, and obsessive, focusing too much on one situation, needing to take a step back. So you need to take a step back from this. You're asking from guidance or help here from your angels, your, you know, whoever it is that you believe in here that can help push you in this direction. Take a step back is what they're saying. You're focusing on this too much and taking a step back is going to help you to recenter and to also maybe gain something here as well for yourself. If you focus on something outside of this situation that you need to at this time to help push you in the right direction. Yeah, put your frustration and into persevering in some area in, in your life. And I think that you will find success on the other end of that. Use the energy is what it's saying. Use the energy. Use that obsessive kind of energy. Let's just say, you know, you had a battery and you only had a battery for so long and you were, you could, you had everything you did, you had to use that battery in order to be able to do that. Okay. And it's like, you want to use that battery to the best of your ability, um, in order to, you know, have a good time or in order to do what you need to do or in order to level up, you know, and if you're feeling this way, instead of focusing on the situation, which I don't feel like it's getting anywhere, Focus on yourself and use that energy towards yourself. You know, stay out of the obsessiveness that's here. I think you already know, you already feel like, yeah, I think that you already have information that you need. You know, I feel like you already are very conscious about the direction that you need to take from here. So unless something very significant ha happens or changes here with this person, which... I don't really see that here, guys. I don't see this person like having like an aha moment or an epiphany or something. I just, if anything, they're in this energy here where they're not making any moves. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So you're going to have to, you see? Okay, let me get um, questions that you should be asking yourself real quick. And then we'll get some initials to close. So what questions should Pile 3 be asking themselves at this time? Huh? Y'all have three, two. Y'all have, what is my instinct telling me to do? There you go. If this was my last day, would I be satisfied with my life? What would I have done differently? So this is that same scenario, that battery that I was talking about. And who or what defines the contents of my life? Focus on the things that you feel like bring value and happiness into your life at this time and you're going to have to re remove yourself from this obsessive thinking that's here you can ask for all the help in the world but if you don't you know you ask for help on strength you know give me the strength to be able to focus on myself at this time or continue moving on past this you know i don't feel like this is easy by all means but what are your instincts telling you to do what's that gut feeling telling you to do what are you being inspired to do? Okay. All right. More initials. We didn't get a whole lot here, but we have two of the, this is judgment in tarot, Scorpio energy. 
and then you have the ace of pentacles that's here you have this the shell so coming out of your shell and taking action here or speaking your truth with that communication okay facing judgment when it comes to that new beginning there whether it's there or not you know okay you have f n p and e and that's all we have pen here so maybe writing something um all right guys so i'm gonna hold this up so y'all can see it and i'm gonna leave you so if you feel like you connect with my readings would you please hit that subscribe button i would appreciate you guys and then also um if you felt like you connected with this reading hit that like button for me it sure does help me on the algorithm so i appreciate that and thank y'all so much for being here i definitely hope this helps really good luck to you with that. i feel like this is a tough situation so good luck to you with this sending you some love and light and hopefully i'll see you soon